When you look at the separate pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, it is difficult to know what the picture will become. But after you connect all the pieces, the picture is very clear. When readers make connections, it helps them have a clear picture of what is happening in the story and how the characters are feeling. Yesterday, you learned about text to self connections. When the characters or events in a story remind you of a personal experience, then you make a text to self connection. When I read the story Iris and Walter and the Field Trip, it reminded me of the time I went to the Shedd Aquarium and I saw the sharks. Just like Walter, I had never seen anything so wonderful before. This is an example of a text to self connection. Sometimes, when readers are reading a new book, it reminds them of another book they have read. This is a text to text connection. When I was reading Zelda and Ivy the Runaways, it reminded me of another book I had already read called Peter's Chair. Let me tell you why. Zelda and Ivy run away to the backyard because they're frustrated that their family is having cucumber sandwiches for lunch again. In the story Peter's Chair, the main character Peter is also feeling frustrated. He's frustrated because his family is painting all of his old things pink and giving them to his new little sister Susie. I made a text to text connection because I noticed. That the characters had similar feelings. When I read the book Mr. Putter and Tabby Walk the Dog, it reminded me of the story Mr. Putter and Tabby Drop the Ball. In both books, Zeke the dog is causing trouble. I made a text to text connection because I noticed that the characters had a similar problem. Sometimes you can make a text to text connection when the events in one story remind you of the events in another book. That's exactly what happened to me when I read Tumbleweeds 2. I made a text to text connection to the book Stone Soup. In the book Tumbleweeds 2, the only thing Jack Rabbit has to make the stew is the tumbleweed. But then all the other animals, when they taste the stew, decide that they have other vegetables that they can add to make the stew better. The same thing happens in stone soup. The monks who start the soup only have stones. But then all the other villagers bring vegetables to make the soup delicious. In those two books, I made a text to text connection because the events in the story were similar. When you are reading independently today, ask yourself this question Does this book remind me of another book I have read? And then you can make text to text connections too. When you make text to text connections, you can understand your stories better. Thumbs up if you're ready to make connections. Off you go, readers.